everyone this is Christina from PDX planner on Instagram and I'm just excited to film this video to share with you my new sticker organization I have watched several videos on how to organize stickers the different ways to store them um, keep them organized and after again watching several ones I finally found um, ways to organize my stickers since I have a bunch of them and so this video is all about um, ways to organize your stickers. Again, I, I don't have just one system. I use several ones uh, depending on the type of stickers that I have. So I'll keep it short and share with you my new sticker organization. So first off, this is a, a mini binder. Uh, a lovely friend of mine, Joan Davis, PDX Paper, PDX Crafts or PDX Paper Crafts, I'm sorry. Um, got this for me um, at Target. And usually when I go to Target, I can't find what I'm looking for because they're always out. So she was nice enough to get this for me. It's the mini binder at the Target spot. It's $3. And I got the mini protector sheet um, up and up. Um, Target brand has them. And so it comes like 15 in a pack. But you can also get the Avery one. It's 25 per pack. I got them at, um, on Amazon. And so uh, I have several binders and so I just kind of want to go through that with you quickly and um, please stop watching this video if this does not interest you but I just wanted to share with you what I have with my sticker organization and my sticker collection. Again I've been doing crafting for so many years so a lot of my stickers are I've had for so many years. Um, so let's get started. Um, first off before I show this binder I want to show you my Stico or Stichopotamus collection. I've had this for many years. Um, this binder is from Barnes & Nobles. It's punctuate. And it's these stickers I have. They're already pre-hole punch. And so it's perfect for personal size binder. And again, this um, it used to be that uh, Stico was named Stichopotamus. And they're already pre-hole punch and i've got them many years ago now they don't come with um hole punch anymore and they shortened their brand name to stico so um, again these are my stico sticker collection i got some flowers some cowboy i don't know why i have that and um so just several ones weddings um little words Cats, hearts, I have a ton of them, hearts, dragonflies, fish, and so I just wanted to share with you this Stico collection. So I didn't want to put it in a separate binder since this is perfect for this and I like the clear uh, cover from Punctuate Planner and then I just put Stico for the name. So this one's the first one I have. And then my wonderful friend Phoenix from Taiwan got this for me a couple months ago. And I love Sanrio stickers. I still kept her note there. And she got a lot of uh, Sanrio stickers for me and they come in like long packaging, which um, does not fit the four by six um, albums if a lot of you get those from the dollar store and things like that um, again photo albums are a good way to store your stickers so but this one is perfect for this kind of um, stickers or packaging um, it's long and I think it's specifically made for this um, it came from Taiwan and so I store all my Sanrio stickers Hello Kitty, Rilakkuma, Kiropi, Little Twin Stars, My Melody I still have some these are the dollar spot ones so I love this binder so I know specifically this album is for my Hello Kitty or Sanrio stickers so so that's that and then I have I also tried the accordion file and this is from the Dollar Tree and it's really nice this accordion file for little stickers um, so I kept this one. I tried it before with the different months, like January through December or the different occasion, but I found that it doesn't work for me. 
but this one is perfect for my again Sanrio stickers that are the flake ones so they're individual cut and it comes in this kind of plastic um, packaging so these are my Sanrio ones I want to keep them contained um, but also accessible this is very portable so I like that um, these are my melody stickers and more again these are all from my friend Phoenix um, and then this is from my friend Anna she gave it to me because she knows that I like kawaii stickers I don't have a lot of those planner stickers from Etsy or those um, homemade ones I haven't gotten into them because I know I have a ton of stickers that I have to use um, from my collection so again I wanted to just use them first Okay, so this is this accordion file is from the dollar spot you can get them I'm sorry this is from the Dollar Tree but Target also have those accordion files and then I also get those photo albums um, from the dollar spot um, this is only a dollar I have to change the cover um, so but I just wanted to share this with you uh, these are for labels this is perfect it's four by six so I can't remember where I got the stickers I believe they're probably from Target um, but so these are just for labels um, tags so just specifically for um, you know for tags um, some washi stickers um, again more tags uh, this is from the dollar spot um, so yeah so I still have a bunch so my organization is just not one size fit all but I try to do them by category of what fits the sticker itself. And then the last one is the sticker binder. So this is the mini one. I have four of this, unfortunately. You know how much I have in stickers. So this one um, is for my alphabets. Um, when I dump all my stickers from you know all my different places, I cannot believe how many I have. How so just for alphabet, I'll, how, eh, sorry, alphabet alone, I have so much. Um, so this is for all my alphabet stickers. Again, I've collected this over the years. So it's not like I just one day woke up and I said, oh, I'm gonna buy all this alphabet stickers. Um, no, <laughs> I collected them over the years. This is from the ta da Target. Again, this one's from my crafting days. This is from the dollars, uh, Dollar Tree. This one, I got them online. I can't even remember, um, but I have a bunch of them. So um, they fit perfectly. I like the fillers so then I can actually see. I've seen some videos where it's just blank, um, but I kind of like the white background so I can see both ways. Um, so, so these are all my alphabet sticker collection. So this binder alone is just dedicated for that. And then I have <clears throat> for different occasions, uh, I just started this binder. Um, it's not full yet, which is, I'm glad. Um, these are my birthday stickers. And this is gonna be for all occasions. So a lot of birthday stickers, cupcakes. And then I have my Valentine's. I cannot believe how many hearts I have. I must like Valentine's because I have a bunch of Valentine's stickers. And then my St. Patrick's. Not a whole lot. Some Easter's. Thanksgiving or fall theme. And baby stickers. And I still have yet to put my Christmas stickers. So that's the minor for that. And then um, the other one, this is going to be pockets. I got this pockets also from Avery. Um, this will hold like smaller ones. These are my diary stickers uh, for my planner. Um, I haven't really organized it, but I just kind of want to share it with you. Color seal and my Korean diary stickers. I love Korean diary stickers. So this one is still in progress. Uh, I may share a video separately for that. 
And then one last binder that's also a work in progress is this one. Uh, this is going to be my food, animal, flower um, collection and, it, and miscellaneous. So these are the owls, animals, animals. So and these ones are handmade by my friend Lisa Lee. Thank you so much. I really love them. They're so cute. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed my video. Again, I have a bunch of them, bunch of sticker binders, but I love this setup. Um, now I'm more organized with my stickers and I can just grab them as I go. And also it's still portable if I need to go crafting. So I like those photo albums. This one is empty. And that. So yeah. Um, as you can see, I have a bunch of stickers. So I hope you enjoy my video and I hope this is helpful for those who want wants to organize their stickers. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.